Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Samsung NX1 and Nikon D750. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Samsung NX1 and the Nikon D750 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 15th of September 2014 and the 12th of September 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Samsung NX1. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Nikon D750. For portrait photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Samsung NX1 and the Nikon D750. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Samsung NX1. And here are some sample photos from the Nikon D750. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Samsung NX1. This camera is a powerhouse for both photo and video work, especially with the latest firmware updates. The still image quality is great with 28 megapixels, and the 4K and UHD video is fantastic. However, the H.265 codec can be a hassle to work with, and the low light performance is not as strong as I'd hoped. Overall, I would love to see improvements in the megapixels and codec options, but I still prefer it over my Canon 5D Mark III for video. I recently purchased the Samsung NX1 and I am thoroughly impressed with its ergonomic design and build quality. The usability is excellent, and the AF system performs like magic, even in low lighting. The 15 FPS continuous shooting rate is astounding for this price point. The video performance is outstanding, producing 4K video with incredible detail. Overall, the NX1 is now my primary shooter due to its excellent AF system and video performance, making it a great purchase for a prosumer like me. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon D750. I'm not a huge technophile, but I found the Nikon D750 to be a versatile and powerful camera. The autofocus is fast and responsive, especially in continuous mode for action shots. The menu is a bit overwhelming, but the important functions are easily accessible. The camera produces high-resolution images, although the colors can be a bit oversaturated. The Nikon D750 is an amazing camera with superior tracking ability for moving subjects in various lighting conditions. It performs exceptionally well in low light and has a great image quality. The tilting screen is a useful feature, and the camera has not presented any negative issues so far. It may be a bit intimidating for beginners, but it has an auto mode to help with the learning process. Overall, it's a great investment for any enthusiast or professional photographer. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Samsung NX1 we will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Nikon D750. We will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. 